Broccoli is one of these vegetables that loves cool weather. Even though you can find it all year long, it's best during the cooler months. You want to look for nice, dark green, tight looking florets that have no yellowing on them. When you get it home, put it in a bag, plastic bag, store it in your produce drawer, but try and eat it within about three days. The first simplest way to cook it is steaming it. So you take your crowns of broccoli, you chop it up into florets, don't throw away the stem, that's edible too. You can slice that in half lengthwise and then chop it into one inch pieces. Then you're ready to steam. So you have a saucepan with about one inch of boiling water in the bottom. You put a steamer basket in there, throw the broccoli on top, close the lid, five minutes, and you've got perfect tender crisp broccoli. To jazz it up a little, try this lemon dill seasoning. So this is olive oil, lemon juice, fresh dill or dried, whole grain mustard, a little bit of chopped shallot, salt and pepper, whisk that together, drizzle it over your broccoli, and that's it. Next way is roasted broccoli. So you take store-bought chili garlic sauce, a little bit of olive oil or canola oil, reduced sodium soy sauce, and white pepper. You stir that all together, toss that with your chopped up broccoli, spread it out on a baking sheet, and then roast it in a 450 degree oven for about 10 minutes until it's tender and it'll get a little bit brown and golden in spots. It comes out, it is delicious. So that's it. Now you have ways to get more broccoli in your diet. And if you do that, that's good news because broccoli is one of those super powerful, super nutritious veggies. It's actually part of the cruciferous family whose other members include things like cauliflower, cabbage, and even watercress. These guys are packed with nutrients. In fact, broccoli has more vitamin C in a cup than an orange has. For these recipes and more healthy veggie recipes, come to eatingwell.com.